Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my birthday haul video and I got a little bit of a lot of it of stuff. <laughs> so the first thing I received was a special delivery from my good friend Lynn and I got these gorgeous flowers and I got a new friend called Bob Bob Bacab. That's his name so he's going to be joining me for this video. Don't judge me. That's his name. Okay. You guys probably saw my post um, of probably a few weeks ago, on some micellar water that I found at CVS. And I found the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Micellar Water. This one's been used. I bought two of them because that's all they had. And I actually should have gone back to the store today um, to see if I can find some more. But I am officially on the hunt for this micellar water. It was $7.99. Simple sometimes has coupons and CVS and Walgreens always has sales on their like skincare and stuff like that. I went to Walmart recently and I posted this up on the Sensational page along with my Instagram and Facebook. And I went and found some of their new colors for this year. That one's backwards these um i honestly feel like some of these colors are actually rebranded and renamed and just put out there but i don't have any of these colors so this one is pink sand which is a gorgeous like neutral nude color i've been wanting a color like this for a while the next color is gray day which is an absolutely gorgeous gray it is a cool tone gray it does have like a tinge of blue and it does have some shimmers to it which i find amazing so it's like a light shimmer you know like it's not glittery it just has that shimmer to it and it is really pretty so i was chatting with someone on instagram about this particular color and i was asked if this looks like after five and i don't have after five as a color surprisingly enough i don't but i never was able to find it but i did look up swatches online and i found that this looks extremely similar to it so i if anything it'll be like a slight shade difference but not much so if you guys have after five this might not be a color that you would want for you know to add to your collection unless you like to add to your collection the next one is tropical punch and of course i had to snatch this one up this was the only one left and this has this goes on orange and it's kind of sheer so i'm assuming two to three coats might be needed for this but you do see the pink in it so it does have it's orange, but it has a pink shift to it, which I think is fantastic. And I hope Sensational just happens to come across this channel because I feel like they need to have more of these kind of shifty colors because I think that would really, really, you know, make the brand stand out a little bit more. So I think that's amazing. Okay. <coughs> Death. So the next thing I picked up at Walmart is this. I'm going to sneeze. Um, I found this at Walmart and it is a pot holder or a trivet or whatever they call it and you could just pick up pots with it or lay a pot on it. It's silicone. It is a hexagon shape. It looks like a honey. It has a honeycomb design to it. And I bought this not to hold pots because <laughs> what do I look like? Debbie Homemaker? Um, no, I'm actually going to be using this to place it on my sink place it on place it in my sink and use this to clean my brushes so I'm just gonna take my Sigma brushes and you know soap and water and just rinse them off because why would I want to pay $50 well between 30 and $50 for a mat or a glove that I can just use this I don't know <laughs> this one is was less than four bucks I think it was like three dollars and 27 cents I picked this up I'm gonna be washing my brushes this week with it because I'm tired of using my hands. My hands get wrinkly. My hands are bright pink, but the hair. So the next thing I got was from Rula La, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with Rula La. I never heard of it before. I actually got a gift card from someone that I am promoting for, and I was super excited to kind of check out the website. I was like, oh yeah, let me go see what is this. I don't know. So this is very similar to Hope Look. If you go to rulala.com, you see very very expensive products there um some jewelry some makeup i think they had some estee lauder the other night and i just didn't have they didn't have anything that i wanted you know particularly but yeah so you get like a percentage off so i ended up picking this up and um i got this in the mail a couple days ago i haven't worn it yet and it is an infinity oh, let me this is sterling silver with rose gold accent pardon my pink fingers we will work it out later. <laughs> so recently I did a demo slash first impressions on some id cosmetic stuff. So I was waiting for some other stuff uh, to come in and I it 
came later even though I bought it the same day so anyway I ended up picking up the it cosmetics airbrush illuminizer and this is a poreless finish HD illuminizer they say you could use it under the eyes and blase blase and I've been playing with this here and there because it's a little dusty and it comes with a matte lid this is I think double the size they normally give you I think it's like 0.25 and they give you almost 0.5 and you know I didn't unsift it all but let me see if I could swatch it if you guys can see it. That's a lot. This A little goes a long way with this stuff. I will tell you that much. So this is the swatch right here. It's a very thick, thick swatch. I obviously haven't used that much on my skin. I barely just tap the brush in and just put it under the eyes and bring it up. I do not have it on today. I have something else on. I think I have my Mary Luminizer on today, but that's about it. Um, But this is very, very illuminating. It is not too glittery. It doesn't leave like like flecks of glitter all over your face it blends beautifully it feels like silk and I guess it does have silk in the product so yeah but the reason why I bought that not only just to try a new product was because it came with another brush and this is my second it cosmetics brush and I I have to say, these are some luxe brushes. This is like super, super soft. This is perfect for powdering the face. Oh, it feels so soft, it is so pretty. And it's super, super soft. I don't know, my daughter was playing around with it. She's like, mom, this is soft. I was like, yeah, totes. Of course, pretty much I paid for the brush and got this product for free. So I'm loving QVC right now, but they're causing a lot of problems for me because my bank account is just not very happy with me right now. So I went to Mac and I picked up some items from Mac. Um, the first thing I got was a Mac lip pencil and I didn't think that I would give in and buy another Mac lip pencil because they are expensive. They're $16 a pop and I don't know if I feel like buying them but I did buy one so I was actually gonna pick up another half red because I cannot seem to find a dupe for that to save my life okay um so I might have to just give in and pick up half red whenever anyone has in a stock that's the color right there it is a nudish brownie color more on the cool tone beige that's the color oak and I also ended up picking up one of the MAC Toledo Collection lipsticks. This one is in Oxblood. Oh my god. I wanted them all because they were all matte. But they're so, there was like three reds in the collection. Um, I wanted one of the blue toned. I forgot the name of it. But anyway, whatever. This is the packaging. It is a matte packaging throughout. It is absolutely gorgeous. It kind of has, I don't know. This design reminds me of like what you would find on playing cards, like the Joker, the Queen, the King, and stuff like that. So it's very kind of similar in that aspect, but it's their own design. And this is Oxblood. It is a beautiful nude. This is a peachy pink nude. Like it is a mix of both peachy and pink. It is absolutely gorgeous with the lip liner and oh, it's just ugh. I actually use this with Coco Loco from Jordana, that lip liner, which has been my favorite for a while. And oh, just gives it that depth that you need. It's just lush. I love it. So I ended up going through Dior, the Dior counter, and the lady just gave me a free gift because she knew it was my birthday. And she gave me a Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I know, Dior gave me Bobbi Brown samplers. So I got some samples there. Can't complain. <laughs> so I ended up going to Sephora and I picked up my birthday gift. It says, happy birthday, one year older. Great. Whoopity doo da. So I ended up getting my first NARS product. I don't own anything of NARS. If you guys have any recommendations of what NARS products I should take a gander at, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I got the Beauty Insider uh, gift and I got two of their NARS lippies. One is matte and one is satin and they both are freaking gorgeous. This one is in, what color is this? Cruella, which I love because I am so cruel, honey. Beautiful blue based brick red. Gorgeous. This one's matte. <laughs> and this is the color Recusian. Whatever. And this is a beautiful satiny color. It's a beigey nudie pink that's pretty nice so i thought this alone was, would have been like fantastic to get anyway but one cannot just walk into sephora and leave without buying something it's not humanly possible ever ended up giving in and i picked up an hourglass palette now this one is in the shade atmosphere 
I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, here's the packaging, the traditional hourglass. It's like a gunmetal, grayish, purple, yeah, I don't know. This is the palette right here, it has a full size mirror. These are all mattes. This one is more like a satin, but it's still very matte. Now these swatch beautifully. They're very powdery. Um, they're very matte. So one thing I will say about this palette is that it's going back to the store really, really fast. Probably gonna end up, I'm probably gonna end up taking it back tonight or tomorrow. Um, I do not like it. This is a $58 palette for uh, five shades. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. I did end up doing one usable look with this palette but I feel like that's the only look that I can get with this palette. It was very soft, um, very everyday look, um, and it kind of just wears off. Like I can wipe my eye by accident and there goes the eyeshadow. So I'm really disappointed in Hourglass with this palette in particular. I obviously don't have the other six <laughs> um, palettes or other five palettes, but I thought this one would be the best and the one that I would get the most use of. Now when you put a brush to this, like let me see if I can take just take one of my brushes I'm gonna take and put a brush to this I put a brush to this and it like it powders everywhere it barely goes on it falls right off the brush and when you blend it that's pretty much all you get I don't know this is not <laughs> I'm not happy with this <laughs> I'm not happy with this at all. Like, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I touched them. They were pigmented. I put them on my hand. They swatched well. And that's how she wrote. I'm all set with this. The ladies at Sephora can kiss it because they're like, oh my God, I so totally love this palette. Like, this is amazing. And it's so beautiful. I have this one and I have this one and I have this one. And I was like, I should have known. Um, I'm not happy with this crap at all. Hourglass, what were you thinking? Uh, let me know if you guys have any of the other palettes or if you have the same palette. Atmosphere is a no-go. It could go back into the atmosphere because I don't want it. Um, I'm not saying Hourglass is a bad brand. I think Hourglass is a magnificent brand. Um, and they get more than positive reviews on a lot of their products. But this was a dud for me. And for $58, you cannot give me a dud for $58 and think that I would be just fine and dandy with that because I'm not okay nope 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 I went to Bath and Body Works and I picked up a couple of things I just picked up the usual um the five for five antibacterial things I absolutely love these I picked up Caribbean Escape they changed the packaging but oh this one's like one of my favorites I I yeah, this one's like one of my favorites. Um, the next one I picked up was two of the Japanese Cherry Blossom. It is what my favorite scent out of like the whole uh, Bath and Body Works thing and probably is one of the best sellers. Um, the next one I picked up was Pure Paradise, which I've never seen before. It's that one right here. Wish I could smell better. Oh, and this is just delicious. And the last one I picked up was Ocean for Men. This smells Oh, I should just go back and pick up a whole bunch of these because this smells like man. I just love man's manly scents. I like grease and I like clean man smell. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay, so one of the things I picked up was a fine mist um, spray and it is in cool Amazon rain. And oh my God, this has a hint of coconut in it, but it's very... Not florally, but it is kind of like florally sweet if you like those scents. But it still smells clean enough to just spritz all over. I love this. I ended up picking up two candles. I'm not really into candles. Um, well, not that I'm not really into candles. I love candles, but I can make candles last for years because I barely burn them. And when I burn them, I'm like in my zen. Don't nobody bother me. I'm not filming. I'm not talking to anyone. My phone's off. Like it's kind of weird, but it's kind of what I do. So anyway, I picked up black teak wood, which is one of their limited edition scents. I love this jar. This smells very, very manly, very grr, very, uh, I love it. Mmm. <laughs> very, very good. It's, it's a nice woodsy 
hence the teak wood, but it is a very woodsy, musky scent. Um, if you're into that, go ahead and smell it, child. And I gave in, like, oh, I've seen this candle everywhere on YouTube last year, and I was like, I just, it makes me want to drink some of this. So I got watermelon lemonade, and this is not the season for watermelon lemonade, but honey, I want spring to come so fast, so good lord. Um, but... Ooh, this smells good. I'm not into sweet candles or sweet scents like that. If any, this would be it. This makes you just want to go drink something. It's not overpoweringly sweet. So last stop was actually today and I went to Ulta and if I upload this video, happy Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate it. I don't care to celebrate it, but... I know some of my girls here do, so happy Valentine's Day to you. But anyway, I went to Ulta and I ended up picking up some things from Ulta. I got my birthday gift, um, the Ulta, Ulta Complete Eye Kit, and this is in the shade Indie. And I guess they switch up, they switch up their gifts. Last year was the CK1 um, mascara. Sorry, I'm scratching my hair. But this palette is very, very neutral. I swatched some of them in the car because I was bored. They're not bad. Okay, I ended up getting the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Sassy and Daring Wild scent. And it smells like something I would like. Almost like a musky, cinnamony scent. Ow. Got my hair caught on it. Ow. And I picked up two of the Real Techniques um, Bold Metals Collection brushes I picked up the 100 and the 300 the 100 is the arched powder brush and I will open it so it comes in this thing right here and I saw some whiny chick online I don't care if you know her or not but I saw some whiny 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 heifer online um that was bitching about it having like you know the little glue thing that they stick on products that you can peel off or you can soak in an alcohol to remove it yeah she was bitching about that the whole like five minutes she was talking about it she was just whining about it but anyway it does come with a sticky piece to it that kind of holds it down to prevent people from just snatching it out of the box but with that this is the girls are really smart or real techniques whoever did that it comes with like a plastic that's wrapped around it to prevent that sticky thing from ruining the product so whiny chicks like her can stop her whining. This brush is a tapered brush. As you can see, it's thinner on the sides and it's wider and it tapers up into like a semi-rounded, it's rounded, whatever. It is so soft. It is very luxe feeling. It's weighted. This feels really, really nice, like perfect for under the eyes and for all over the face. It is not a brush that I've seen before. The design is different. Like I said, it's weighted. It's weighted right in the center here, so it's better for, you know, working on other people. Now, this is more of a pro-based collection. So, people that are whining about this being a $25, $26 brush, you have to consider the fact that they're using Lux products on their inexpensive range. They just wanted to be able to sell the products, though. So, I, I've, I've seen quite a few reviews on it, and most of these people are just whining about the price. And then you feel the brush, and the brush is magnificent, and it's soft. I don't know how it holds up, but I'll be glad to put this to the test and give my final review on this. People have to take into consideration that this was created by two makeup artists, two actual makeup artists, and working with a makeup brush company, they created something a little bit more friendly and a little bit more luxe for their makeup artist clientele um even for those collector types that just love to collect brushes or just just love makeup so much that they don't mind collecting these so take into consideration before you complain about a brush being $25 $40 or whatever you have to take into consideration what the brush might feel like um what kind of process goes into it um what kind of product is in it per se now this is metal um it's aluminum probably and it is weighted uh, the brush feels great. These are synthetic brushes and um, I don't know this will hold on to creams and powders beautifully and it should clean just as good. So I'm sorry I didn't mean to rant so much about it but yeah I was kind of just over the moon frustrated <laughs> with uh, the reviews that I read on that. So this is going to go in my collection right there baby. You go right there. Next one I picked up was the tapered blush brush. And this one's the number 300. This one's rose gold. I honestly wish they made them all in rose gold because I love rose gold. 
this would be perfect for highlighting under the eyes, for highlights, for bronzer, and for blush. This is a great multitasking size brush. It's dense, um, but it's still soft. Oh my God, this is nice. Oh. And I got them buy one, get one 50% off plus 350 off. So I just lucked out with the sale girl. So this is It Loves, my 2015 birthday haul. I'm not feeling any older. I mean, mentally, yes. Physically, all right, yeah, I'm feeling a little older. I'm not liking my dirty 30s because nothing's going my way for my dirty 30s, nothing. So anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I absolutely love every product I got, no regrets, minus that hourglass going back, okay? But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.